I am Jose, and today... <sighs> I'm on the job. Who gets up at the crack of dawn, eats hay, produces milk, and can pick his nose with his own tongue? No, not me. The water buffalo. And today, I'm at the source on a farm, learning about them from an expert. I'm Jennifer Dyson, I'm a farmer. I've been farming for 30 years and I've been milking water buffalo for two years. Gotta get in there and feed them, come on. My day starts at 5.30 in the morning and ends at probably about 10.30, 11 o'clock at night. If you want to be a farmer, there is a ton of things to do. 365 days of the year, 24 hours a day, really. Okay, so you bust your chops on the farm. I get it. But why the water buffalo? Where's the reward? They're wonderful for meat, but they're, they're exceptional for dairy. They make incredible ice cream, incredible yogurt, the best cheese in the world. Oh, so that's why you have water buffalo. Yes, oh, I'm sorry. For Did the I cheese. Just... I love mozzarella. Great. And all of those other things that you mentioned. Well, but you gotta learn how to be a farmer before you can taste the cheese. Step one of being a water buffalo farmer. There's no eloquent way to say this, nor do it, but I will say it involves a wheelbarrow and a shovel. You've got the technique of scooping the poop, but you know what, I think a little more time on that scooper and the wheelbarrow would really make him an expert. An expert? Right. <clears throat> Step number two, feed the babies. These female calves will mature, eventually be used for milking, and can grow to the age of about 20. The males, however, will probably end up on the menu by age two. On to step number three. More poo. More poo. You lose the scent after a few minutes, so I don't smell anything at all. It smells okay. I smell a little bit of poop. A little bit. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's poop. We scoop a lot of poop. I think a water buffalo I can't remember how many pounds, but it's extraordinary. And we compost all of that manure, and it grows the best grass for our water buffalo. And now, for step number four. It's time for milking. This will be my first time being so close to the adult water buffalo. Obviously, I'm being watched, and I can't say I blame them. So they're very quirky. They're all different personalities. Some are very aggressive, and we've, we've had to be very, very careful in how we introduce strangers to those more aggressive ones. But, uh, and the whole, they're, they're very new down. Really? Feels okay. Surprisingly or not, I think they kind of like me. Maybe I was one in my former life. A farmer, that is, not a water buffalo. On to step number five, scooping, uh, I'm not even going to say it anymore. Are you finished scooping the poop yet? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think I got it all up. Uh, you mentioned something about cheese earlier, though. Um, are we going to get to taste any, or? Jose, we don't make the cheese here. You don't? No, we produce the milk. The cheese goes to natural pastures. As a matter of fact, Doug, Doug just picked up the milk. He's, he's taking the milk. He just, le he just left right yeah, now? Yeah. Wait! Where are you going? If you want to put me to work, send me an email. Lord Alberni, missing out on the cheese. I'm Jose Arrugia. Ah, he's gone. I forgot to tell him I've got cheese in the fridge. Would you like some? <laughs> 